Yo, what's going on, guys? Your boy Ooze back again once again on this Monday morning. It is 4:20. Don't really celebrate, but uh, it is the 20th, and the only thing I tell around the 20th of every month would be Dragon Ball Super mangas and the Boruto chapter. So, um, I will be doing uh, chapter reactions now, just because I started doing those with the Death Note one shot manga. So, if you guys want to check that out, please go ahead and check out my reaction to the Death Note one shot manga that I released earlier this year. Um, and I'm hoping that with this chapter of Super and Borto being monthlies, I'm hoping that there's no cancellations, hiatuses, delays, or anything like that for the further chapters going forward. So far, so good. We haven't heard anything at the time of this recording, but um, I figured that since this is the best thing that we have going for us as far as Dragon Ball stuff goes, that we would, you know, at least get started with doing these reactions for the chapters. Normally, I like to do reviews on them anyway, but my reactions tend to be reviews within the reactions because I always break down stuff and talk about it on the fly. Also, I should probably be putting out another episode of Full Power Podcast so that way I can talk with Kai about this. It has been a little bit since we've had an episode about that, but, uh, you know, for those that have been asking and looking out for the Full Power Podcast, I mean... For obvious reasons, everything has literally slowed down for a lot of different people over the past few months and whatnot, but we will definitely get something out for you guys since this is the most recent and relevant news-worthy thing to talk about. So without further ado, I'm just going to get right into it, and obviously, um, for obvious copyright reasons or strikes or whatever, I'm not going to include any of the... Um, the visual pages. Oh, and there goes my alarm. All right, cool. Perfect timing. All right, let's get to it. So, looks like one sand showed up. All right, so seven threes down. Well, here we go. We have Ultra Instinct Sign Goku. <laughs> All right. Piccolo says, looks like he can activate it at will. Okay, to think that such a lowly life form could use such a divine technique, says Moro. How surprising. Goku takes the usual turtle stance. Let's do this, Moro. As you wish, Son Goku. It's finally starting for real. The fate of the Earth. No, the fate of the entire universe is riding on this fight, says Piccolo. Have a nice shot of Bo Goku. Goku loading up that punch. Oh, so, yo, damn, he wound up that, John, and Moro took the hit in the shoulder. Oh, my God. So, <laughs> okay, so Goku is literally just doing this, and he's literally direct hitting Moro, like, to the torso right now. It's actually pretty dope, and Moro's like, what the hell? So now Moro's, like, on the defense, like, blocking. Piccolo's like, is Goku attacking? He is with air blast, I think. He's whipping his fist really fast to fire off blasts of air. So basically, he's using the freaking air palm, no jutsu. Air palm from uh, my man Neji. Shout out to the Huga clan. Okay, so we got some action. So Moro throws an explosion. Goku rises up. Uh, Moro tries to follow up with more key blasts. Goku freaking... Flies right through that, John. He's going right at Moro. Moro blocks a punch. They're facing off. Goku, like, flips around both um, on the other side of him. Goku hits him with a kick. Oh, so now Goku's on a complete... Um, he, he's on the complete offensive right now. This technique boasts heightened ability, says Moro. So be it. I need to mobilize you. Okay, so now Moro, it looks like... So if you guys remember the God Bind technique that Goku used on Broly in the movie, and then Broly literally, like, used it right against, like, like against him right after that, it looks like he's doing the same thing to Goku, but he's focusing on his, his hands and his feet. Uh, we see, like, some kind of, like, aura around them. When he says, I need to immobilize you. And then Moro delivers, delivers his first offensive attack with a kick. So Goku takes the fir takes his first hit now. Now, okay, now it looks like... So Goku clenches his fist and it looks like the bind that he had on his one hand uh, went away. 
So I wonder if he just like kind of crushed it. And yeah, he's he's completely free of this immobilization. And Goku asked, "What was that? Your magic? That was, that was, but only a single example out of a new, out of a number of my techniques." Oh wow! So this also oh, we get a shot back at Vegeta. So this is the first time we're literally seeing Vegeta. We figured that we've been predicting that we would see him show up when the time you know came for him to save the day because i feel like with with how everything has been playing off it seems like vegeta might end up being like the real trump card hero in this in this turn of events and it might be vegeta that saves goku this time around so i'm i'm really hoping that that happens um i got to give a huge shout out to kai for like basically planting that seed of thought in my head because like you know you know, if if it was anything else, obviously we'd we'd expect for Goku to to uh, be the one to to you know do anything like significant. But it really seems like the potential is with Vegeta right now. So let's continue. So Ron Yarjat, and it seems like so Moro is finally making his move, and the one opposing him is Kakarot. So even from Yarjat, they feel the pressure from this fight so far away. On you know where, however far away that planet actually is. So that's that's pretty od. Okay, so so now Moro's like it looks like he's like shooting out like magic aura at Goku. Goku's dodging it. Okay, you guys back off some more. Goku says, "Sure thing, go all out and don't worry about the Earth." Says Gohan. We've already gathered up the Earth's Dragon Balls. They're at Dende's place. That means we can always put everything back to normal. All right, so they got a backup plan. So so he basically gave Goku the green life. Y'all, If y'all need to destroy this, John, go ahead. We got the Dragon Balls to cover it all up. I just hope that they do it before it actually gets destroyed. So that way the wish can be made if, if you know, worst comes, worst comes to worst. So Kame. Okay, so he's like on the move and he's doing it. Kame. So, okay, so he's doing it. He's running up. Kind of reminds me of the battle with Kefla. Ah, May. Oh, turns around. Moro's there. Ah! And then Moro takes it. Wait, what? So then, so he like, he ha he puts his hand out. No, he's, he's like, he's like, suffer he's like struggling to hold it. And then it looks like Moro's body like fizzles out. It's weird. You saw through the illusion. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So Moro was it looked like he was doing magic clones of some sort. So if I, I'm going back a page just to see exactly what's going on. So it looked like Moro made like some extra forms of himself, but not like actual clones. But like I guess it was an illu a visionary illusion. It was like a vision visionary illusion. If I'm saying that right, um, and Goku figured it out which was the right one so okay so that's what moro's still blocking the comment so it wasn't for nothing you saw through the illusion how perceptive yeah i've seen that trick before so okay says goku okay good shit good shit so here comes so gohan piccolo and jacko meet up with 17 18 17 says goku's here i take it 18 goes well did he come back stronger than ever piccolo says hard to say we aren't able to read his chi okay so i mean that's a that's a good sign, right? Because considering that Moro's all about like life consorption and energy absorption and I'm not really sure if chi necessarily means the same thing in this case, but if they can't read it, then possibly Ultra Instinct might not be as useful as I was thinking ahead of time because I was like, well, even if it is a technique that allows the user to like reach new found strength and you know whatever like all that kind of power of nothingness type shit um it who knows maybe moro can't absorb that um type of energy so which is a good thing because i'm just like how the hell are they gonna defeat this guy if you could just you know if all he has to do is absorb you and it's done so goku again on the on the on the offensive Throws out a punch. Moro catches it. Moro blocks a kick. Goku headbutts him right in the jaw. Kick to the face. Moro's falling down. Moro cra uh, grabs him again with this like um, binding technique. He brings him to Goku. Goku's now like unwillingly coming at Moro. 
Goku still fights through, still is able to throw out his air palms or his air fists, I should say. Moro's like trying to hold back, but he's like, it's hard to fight against these blows that he's taking. Wow, so the action is pretty cool right now. So Goku's close enough. Ooh, and then, oh shit. Okay, so both Moro and Goku exchange fists, both to their abdomen. Goku's like, Ugh! and Moro's like, <laughs> uh, okay, so now, like, they're both, like, facing each other right now. This I'm, like, on page 28 out of 29, or 28 to 29 right now. Now they're both charging at each other again. We had another shot of the other five warriors I just mentioned before. Seems like Dad and Moro on equal footing. Piccolo says, not quite. Goku's clearly faster. 17 says, so he can win. Piccolo says, well, Moro still hasn't tried absorbing energy. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now it looks like Moro puts his hand up. I see a, a few orbs forming. I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. Oh, crap, here we go. The energy absorption thing. Goku takes notice. Goku literally, like, disappears. Moro's like, mm -hmm. And then now he can't find him. Gohan says he vanished again. And now Goku is behind him. Punches him square in the face. Moro, okay, so it looks like Moro takes the hit but catches his hand and then throws Goku. And now starts to try, he, he tries the uh, absorption technique again. But Goku... Still being way faster, is able to uh, essentially dodge it again, disappearing again. So Moro goes, ah, ah, as I thought. So Gohan says, of course, he's moving at top speed to dodge energy absorption. I didn't realize that was possible, says Piccolo. Jack was just surprised. And then he says, that basically takes care of Moro's main move. And, and Gohan says, and that means Dad won't get his energy stolen and he's already got the advantage in battle. Piccolo says, he can win. If he keeps it up, Goku can win this win this thing. Okay. So now we're back on back on the action. Goku again is throwing out these punches. Kick to the freaking stomach. Uh Moro whiffing. He throws a freaking uh, like a swiper, no swiping. Then freaking Go Goku hits him with the matrix. Okay. Back flips. Kick to the side ribs. <laughs> freaking Moro says. Goku with the Catching his balance. Another kick. So he's working on the body right now. Mad good stuff. So, okay, it's kind of hard to tell what, what kind of action uh, Toyotaro was going for, but he drew a lot of uh, swirly lines around Goku. So I'm not, I, 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 it, may, it looks like he might have gone for like some super whirlwind kick or something like that. Uh, Moro takes the hit, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Goku, oh, no, another freaking dude. My man Goku is laying it down on him right now son Moro freaking literally falls to the ground finally okay this is crazy then Goku goes phew classic Goku who knows what hell is training he's been through says Piccolo Gohan says and he probably still has that ultra instinct form left the one with the silver hair okay so that's what Gohan says so now we look oh a look back at Whis and Miris and Beerus Shout outs and it looks like the oracle. So Beerus and uh, the oracle are, are like fishing. Funny enough, the oracle's a fish, right? That's the joke in itself. Ah, uh, Whis goes marvelous. Well done indeed to train Goku to this extent. And then we says, "I sing your praises, Miris." Miris says, "Thank you." Beerus goes, "Yawn, so hungry." Beerus goes, "Hey kid, you spent a good long time in the mortal realm. Know any tasty recipes?" Miris goes. I was enlisted with the Galactic Patrol, so I'm afraid not. Beerus goes, hmm, what a waste of space. And then uh, Whis goes, has Goku mastered Ultra Instinct then? Can we expect to see that silver hair? Miris goes, no, about that. Okay, so well, one thing I do want to say right now is it's funny how Whis is praising Miris for basically doing something he wasn't supposed to originally be doing beforehand i just wanted to put that out there for those that forgot because they kind of made a whole big deal about out of it and that's literally why miris is even with Whis right now because he kind of saved his brother from essentially being deleted 
altogether. So let's let's not forget about that. So again, back to the action. Goku with all of these blows again, kick to the face. Moro is really struggling right now. All right, Moro looks like he does like a little earthquake attack. He lifts some of the ground uh, right in front of Goku. Goku redirects himself, backs off. Uh, Moro goes, what's wrong? You seem so eager to be done with this. Uh, you believe you found the way around my energy absorption, but you've made a grave error. Goku's like with a question mark. Moro says, I only consume energy to fill my stomach. Weakening my opponents and strengthening myself are only fortunate side effects to the primary, not the primary goal. Goku's like surprised. Moro goes, as such, I will, as such, I will happily devour your energy after. <coughs> Bless. Oh, wow. Sorry. As such, I will happily devour your energy after you're defeated. Goku says, defeated? How? You thought this was all I could muster? You fool. And then now everyone is freaking out. They're like, what? What did Moro just say just now? Piccolo goes, Moro hasn't been fighting at full strength. Oh, fuck. Here we go. Of course. And now we see more power. Out. <gasps> ah! Yo, oh my God. Yo, they, everyone's feeling it around them. It's crazy. Oh, okay. Moro looks a little sharp around the mouth. He look, he looks a little more devious, actually. And now he says, I've consumed countless planets since our previous encounter, all of which have filled me with enough power to transcend the very gods. Okay. Gohan says, that, that she... It's enormous to a terrifying extent, says Piccolo. Goku is literally sh surprised out of his mind. Moro sends a blast. Goku dodges it, or he, he deflects it. Oh, shit. Now Moro's a hell of a lot faster now. Moro then gets behind Goku, grabs him into a bear hug. Goku goes, get, get off me. Moro goes, now I understand why you didn't employ this form during the entire fight against Sangambo. Sangambo. And now Moro is literally squeezing the shit out of him. Oh no! Goku is now powered down to base form. Grabs him by the head. It's because you can't maintain it for long. Throws him into the freaking rocks. Aw oh, shit. So he so Whis goes, so he was only able to achieve the sign level. And Miris goes, yes, he never managed to activate the true ultra instinct form. Whis goes, I see. That doesn't bode well. Sign serves as the gateway to Ultra Instinct, but it isn't stable. Maintaining that instability consumes an enormous amount of stamina. This is the new Super Saiyan 3, guys. This is the, the, the latest Super Saiyan 3. Were you aware, says Whis. Mir says, I was. This battle hangs hinges on Son Goku's ability to manage that energy drain while keeping up sign as long as possible. Mir uh we I'm sorry, wow. Moro <laughs> goes, You hope to bring our bout to a hasty conclusion while you still had the stamina for it, but too bad for you. I've been waiting for your inevitable decline. And then Goku says, I should have realized you already figured out my weakness. But still, if you were just stalling for time, that means you don't think you can beat me when I'm at full power, huh? What? Da 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 from Moro. Goku goes, and if I can keep hitting you with all I've got, I can win this. So then Goku closes his eyes. Powers right back up, it looks like. Sorry, Miris, but a stamina balancing act during battle just isn't my style. And Moro goes, so you still had some power left. Good. Now I'm intrigued. Okay, and that looks like it's the last page, which it is, and that about wraps it up. Okay, so the final things I should say about this chapter is that, again, very action-packed chapter. It was really nice, really good um, back and forth. We did get to see a little glimpse of Vegeta, I guess only to showcase the extent of the power that is being emitted from this fight on planet earth out in throughout the galaxy and of universe 7 ultimately i guess to for for vegeta and the yard rats to feel that 
from Yardrat, you know, is pretty insane. It makes me wonder where, where, who else could feel that. Anyway, um, so I thought that this chapter was really dope. I thought it was really cool. It it did scare me a little bit that uh they're they're almost looking at Ultra Instinct like at least the sign version, um, as if this could potentially be like another scenario with how Super Saiyan three was. They're bringing in stamina as far as this is concerned, um, and even though Miris. Uh, you know, confirm with Whis that he hasn't mastered the silver-haired version, which is like the ultra instinct. This is the actual true power of that, and that we also learned that sign is the, the gateway. So, you know, obviously that's like, you know, one step closer to, you know, the actual version of what we would want to see. But at the end of the day, it's not something that Goku has fully mastered yet. And to be honest, I'm kind of okay with this because like I've said in previous other videos and podcast episodes and what have you, I've always put it out there that Ultra Instinct, the mastered version, needs to be the form of forms, the be-all, end-all. There should never, ever, ever be anything beyond that. That is the last form in the, the 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 lineage of forms, okay? You have all of the transformations with Super Saiyans 1 to 3. You have the God Key influenced Super Saiyan God and Super Saiyan Blue forms. You even have the, you know, Return of Kaioken being like, you know, a stacked power booster, if you will. And then when all that shit ain't good enough and there's still colors of the rainbow that we haven't even seen, okay? You get what I'm, you see what I'm getting at? Ultra Instinct should always and forever be the very last and ultimate trump card that they use. And I feel like it should just be one of those things that so long as he's not an angel or a god or any of those things, I feel like that should always be something that Goku struggles with achieving or even mastering. And I think that with what they have right here with the story, it, they're you know obviously reminding us like, okay... He hasn't mastered the mastered form yet, but it doesn't mean that we won't see it because as we've seen in the past, when the shit gets real and the whole entire universe and then some is on the line, we always see Goku pull through, but we cannot forget about Vegeta. So I'm saying that I'm sure we could very well see that mastered form. However, if you ask me, I would prefer Goku to struggle. I'd prefer this round two of fighting for chapter 60 to continue where Moro actually is, you know, one-ups Goku. To the point where Vegeta makes the heroic show up, the come up, and my man saves everything everybody and vegeta is the true trump card so the only thing we would see out of goku is ultra instinct sign and we finally get to see vegeta have that shining light and he is you know he he like he is the hero in this situation so this would be the first huge win and the first big doing from this brand new vegeta out of yard rat okay so straight out of yard rat i'm all for it man i'm still on team vegeta right now you know, it's it, it's bad enough. I know that has, has nothing to do with Frieza, but it's bad enough. Goku literally hogged the kill off of Vegeta. Vegeta should have been the one that did it, you know, to Frieza. I'm sure a lot of people agree with me on that front. But as far as this is concerned, Vegeta is time. It is time for Vegeta right freaking now. But guys, let me know what you guys thought about this reaction to the chapter and this review. All my thoughts and what things you guys might be thinking or if there's anything that i left out that you guys want me to talk a little bit more about also look forward to the full power podcast episode which me and kai both discuss our thoughts about this chapter um in full and then some um make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves make sure you like the video so that way we can get more dragon ball heads onto this video uh per usual um and like again another reminder like the video and comment down below and the all the other supporting links where you can support your boy and the channel are of course going to be in the description below and it would definitely help considering that it is a pretty 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 tough time for all of us right now but again 
Make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves. Have, have a good one. May the power protect you. Stay clean, stay fresh, and stay inside. I will see y'all next time.